It's time for a deck revolution. I started realizing that certain core cards aren't actually core cards. You consider Omega Assembly core, right? You consider Omega Devastator core, right? Those are some pretty good cards, but we're in a strange meta right now, which brings us to this deck. Rush Warrior. Control Warrior has a favorable win rate against Tempo Rogue, but why not push the win rate even higher against Tempo Rogue? Rush Warrior cuts to slow Omega Assembly and Omega Devastator. A bizarre meta shift has caused Rush Warrior with Mecha Thune to be the right call? The Madman! For Doomhammer. See, it's a shaman. Should I keep Dr. Boom Mad Genius against Shaman? If it's Control Shaman, I certainly want it. But if it's Murloc Shaman, which is only marginally more popular, eh, I still probably want it anyways. But I want the Shield Slam against the... Eh, it wouldn't be fast enough. Would it be fast enough? Against the 2-3. Nah. I was thinking like, Eternium Rover, turn 1, they play the 2-3, I go Armor Up, Shield Slam. It's pretty specific, and way better would be Woodcutter's Axe or Weapons Project to go with my 1-3. Oh, I got it. Oh, Control Shaman's a pretty good test for this deck. It should be an easy Mechathun Shield Slam win at the end. It's only aimed against Control Warrior, but Control Shaman, which is a tiny part of the meta, is very similar to Control Warrior. I'm here to press buttons and play Omega cards. I and I'm all out of Omega cards. Darius Crowley grow. I am the pump in the night. This might hurt. Okay. Ah. Interesting. Light the fuses. I actually have not had this interaction before because it's rare that you put Woodcutter's Axe with Dr. Boom. But do your mechs get buffed with Woodcutter's Axe? Who knows this? Yes? It does work. Okay, that's cool. This axe is actually even better than I thought, man. Land. 
the opponent has only played three cards so far. Or four cards. Wait, five cards. Never mind. I I ignore my incredibly incorrect information. Might hurt. Oh, that batter head combo. I might actually want the three to stay alive here. Killing the nine cost minion could be a problem. Like a three attack minion, whatever. Five, five, seven, six. I must decide. Man. Might be a good turn to kill that and then brawl. Of the frog. This would be a good time. Kind of just letting the board build up and then I brawl. So the key is to kill this on the same turn that I brawl. Defend the gates. To I wanna have it be wounded, but not enough to kill itself. Get Brawl, 3 mana, that's enough to kill Alec here with the poke, I like it. Hmm. I could kill Alec here, but it's just gonna get resummoned, so there's not much point. Oh, I love that fuse thing! Gonna be pretty hard to kill still. <laughs> but I have the mana, I think I should kill it. I'm fine! I'm a In your fight! Awkward. just made a huge mistake. We're good. We're good. I can just hit that and then whirlwind a bunch of times. I've got the armor to recover. I don't think that deck can burst me unless he got really lucky on the burst. What are my alternatives? I can play this. Dynamatic. There's a total of 11 this health on the board, so this will deal 5 of it. Uh, 8, 9, 10. That's really close to killing it. I can just play the Galvanizer with it. 2, 4, 8. That's probably best. It does this have an alloc here in his hand. Yeah, we should probably not take the damage. I'll try 
could even play Zilliax. Do I need this? Oh, One, four, nine. Ugh, if it's five damage on one thing, we can deal with that later. Um, let's do this. You're do that. Right now. Oh, second chain of plans. I probably want to play that and kill something. Huh. Awkward. I hope I don't draw the one last rush card in the deck. <laughs> uh, Kenneth Ashmore only has one rush and one death row. Unlucky order. Alright, sorry Akali. I need to... not draw the cards yet. So we need to start planning end game. I can either have 20 more mana to do stuff, or we'll see. I think I want to draw the Rabid Worgen here. If I draw the Rabid Worgen with Akali, that actually puts on some pressure for him. Uh, how are we going to kill him with the... We can run the... Okay. Even if I lose a little bit of armor through fatigue or something. Probably worth it. It's like, it's hard to turn down plus 5 plus 20. So let's see. I have to play 2, 7, 14, 16, 19, 21 mana. Uh, so I'm going to have to fatigue at least two times. Hmm. I try to random the uh, flash. There's no way that he can call this mecha theme deck, which is helpful. By the night! Night! That's it! I'm out of cards! Like, we're super disguised. No one would ever think this is a mecha soon deck. Might be one of the only turns to play Brawl. That's pretty suspicious, but whatever. Wait, I actually showed the Galva and Azir earlier. I'm dumb. It's probably a mecha soon deck. 7 3, one more turn. Spin, spin, I think. I wonder if I want to hit this button. I actually have, because I need one more turn anyway, I might as well hit the button. I don't think it delays my plans. I might discover something that'll give me armor. Oh, I love that new thing. Oh, it's kind of risky. Okay then, my power is And to make sure to save a warpath for killing my own hexed guy. This is going to be really close. And it depends on like how perceptive he is. Perplexing. Perplexing. <laughs> no one's ever seen a deck like this before. the card I need on the table so that I can have Mechathune go in there, then if I only had six armor I would still win. But that's too suspicious. I need to use the Warpath this turn also, but I also need to use the Rabid Worgen. How do I make it not suspicious? That was the second Hex he's played, which means he doesn't have another one for my Rabid Worgen. Like, the, the play that I want to make is Warpath Rabid Worgen, but that's so suspicious! It would be the soonest I could win. 
he would need to kill my Ravid Worgen, and then he would need to play a card that was four attack or more. This would be a good um, time for a master plan. Oh, I love that music. I'm getting on my Okay, oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Got the blast shield. I'm taking the three fatigue, I'll go down to six. Plus seven. Then he just never kills this guy. So what did I learn on my quest to put everything against Tempo Rogue and still win against Control Warrior? Well, there's still other decks out there, and that is a little bit of a problem. So here we go. I don't know what take this is on Control Warrior, but it's certainly the deck that I'm most in love with. This time around, we've got an extra ooze against the Tempo Rogue. We haven't gone all in on the Rush package. We brought a Super Collider, and we brought in two big game hunters against that big mage stuff which plays the mountain giant why even run execute just skip the middle man just big game hunter them the super collider bonks two of the giants together and is still really good okay good old nomi priest i like this hand against nomi priest we got two out of three is someone injured It's not just being able to clear one 6-6 board. The good Novi Priest, or perhaps the ones with good luck, will Novi you quickly enough that your second Brawl will still be in your deck. The doctor is here. Uh-oh. Are we a Nomi Priest? What the heck are we? There's no way Nomi Priest could fit in a Mega Medic. So, what other priest archetypes are there? Why would you ever play control priest over warrior, lol? The question. Look at what I can do as a warrior. That's so OP compared to this. That's ridiculous. Also, you could play your Omega Medic, lol. We'll see a little bit about what's in your deck, shall we? My hand is full. My hand is full. I learned nothing. Greetings. Nine, magic number eight. Two and three, so 50 50 that that dies, but if this takes the three, I can punch this, and that's also a good scenario. Light the fuses! Ready. 
Four. Can you imagine? My last card in hand is Mechathun, and my only way of winning is by killing his convincing infiltrator. Okay, first of all, how does Priest win? With corrupted blood in their deck. This would be a good time for a master plan. I'm still a control warrior, so I'll just win without Mechathune, which is fine. But it's kind of interesting. Alessiana? But I'm supposed to run Alessiana. Like this is whatever. I've got the beast in my side. Oh, I love that fuse thing. Do you like to play with fire? Let the pain speak to me. That belongs in a museum. What are you doing? Listen here. Light the fuses! Oh, he has luck. He's gonna know the corrupted blood. Disgusting. My Disgusting! My hand is full. Whew. Helped him mill. Could easily have uh, duplicated the corrupted blood in his deck. Wait, is he a Mechathun deck? Wait, no, that's dumb. He has a card in his deck. Is it a Captain Nomi deck? Chef Mary. Captain Mary. Wait, that doesn't make sense. He has corrupted blood in his deck. It's just a control priest, and I guess it's trying to outlive the opponent, even though there's no way to wipe out the blood. It must be Elysiana. Light the fuses! This story deserves a new ending. Wind of Magnetize? I mean, it's a 411 or a 38. It's about the same either way. Turnium Rover could charge into something, rush into something when I need one damage. My method of clearing the blood is actually just going to be pulling the blood. What the heck are you doing? What the heck, old bot? Do I want a shield block? I think there's no real reason not to shield block. Oh, 
only have Magnetize Eternium to work. can't mill the Galvanizer. I think we are going to pursue the Mechathion win condition because obviously he can just keep going after me. OP OP. Defend the gates. I do have weapons Harrison to big mill if I need to. Big if true. It's easy, I just gotta draw the Galvanizer and the Shield Slam before the Corrupted Blood. Easy! button. Nah, no button press. I mean, I want to, but I can't. I want to save that shield sign also. I'm rolling this uh, delivery drone a lot. That's all the cards I need from the deck. Cool. The first step is getting rid of the blood, and then I clear the hand. This it's complicated. For a master plan. Oh, I love that fuse thing. But it's probably better to just not play Omega Assembly, so that oh, so that Omega Assembly can be played to not give me a max. Because Madame was old me a few times, so like I expect him to have seen the mecha thing. There's a custom for every minute. Would have been a fun card to play right before Mecha Thin. Oh crap, that was discovered. That means he has another Grifta. That's okay, it'll only delay me by one turn. In theory. Rub the blood waiting room. Brawl is going to be the hardest card to get rid of in my hand. I think I'll risk one draw here. This would be a good time what if I get blood? Shuffle those in the deck. Now, drawing blood would set myself way back. So, this could be the turn to play the Omega Assembly for two. Yeah, I like it. He hasn't seen the Mechathun. Or maybe he saw the Mechathun, but thought I like discovered it with some Omega assembly. I am almost out of cards. Five, ten, twelve, fourteen. 22, 26, 30, 32, 33. So once I draw the Corrupted Blood, it'll take me four turns. Oh, 
to clear out the hand. I'm almost out of cards. There we go. We're free. So, two, seven, nine, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-five, twenty-six mana worth of stuff, which means if I can find three ways, twenty-six mana means I can have four spare mana. So, eight plus two, five plus four plus one, and then the last turn should be Warpath for all the struggling things that I still have. I have to play the Harrison before the weapons project. Maybe the first turn should be Harrison Omega. Yeah, that should be it. Wastes one mana, but that's okay. I just skip a hero power or something. That's it! I'm out of cards! That belongs in a Eight plus two next, and then for the finale we go four, one, four, five, and then I can ward path twice. I'm looking at that deck and I'm like, wow, that's way worse than Control Warrior. <laughs> Usually. Under normal play. I've got the guaranteed seppuku on my own stuff. Devastator, Slam, Warpath. I'm gonna see if he has some sort of uh, way to stop me. With enough uh, stuff to be in my way, he could push me into fatigue. Not all. Oh dear god, I'm actually going to lose. Well, not necessarily. So, the thing to realize is I want to put the bananas, stack it on the Valen, because then the Mechathune has the highest chance of blowing up while I don't have. The amount of armor, then I only need one armor to win. We'll hope that the Mukla was the second one, but it wasn't. But the good news is now I don't need the shield slam. Uh, kind of. Because we can just feed the bananas over to that. I think I want to discover a mech here. Yes, because there's got to be something I can play to lessen the bite. I take 5 damage next, so I'm at 15. Okay, then. Save the best for last. Oh, I forgot the banana at first. <laughs> Okay, we got through the Hakar, we got through the two Mooklas. Uh, he missed the chance to grift on me twice. Maybe because he didn't see the mecha too. Awesome. I was gonna say, yes! Finally got mage. Wait, I am playing the version that's good against mage. Okay, cool. We did it. Two big game hunters!
You, you're the man, and the reason why we have two of these. It's because of you. I see a vision in the flames. Oh my God, Carousels is in the chat. Oh, I hope to never have to show him this. Like, oh, that was my idea. Yes, it was. Yes. It's true. Master, master. This is an interesting spot where I want my oh, Eternium Rover to go against the Witch Doctor, Massive, but Massive. I want him to go into my Eternium so that he doesn't kill my shields. There's not really a point to me hitting it now. Well, no, this turn it would have been right to hit it because he probably doesn't have the mana to Fire Blast. This is the turn where I should have swung. You can do Warpath, Warpath. Uh... Play, do I want to play Ooze or do I want to save the Ooze for when I play Weapons Project? What is the point of Ooze right now? Could bait the uh, Drake into killing it. I can shield slam. I like it. I hadn't quite thought about it, but the Ooze isn't just against Rogue. I mean, 2 mana 3 2 isn't terrible, but there's also the added utility that it actually kills your Weapons Project. Utility, utility. I wonder. Mage isn't really a class where I need the Zilliax to come back with health. Weave, I simply... Unity. Play it. Precision. Precision. Two Twilight Tricks isn't enough for me to use my very precious Brawl on. My hand's kind of stuck at the moment. Don't have great plays. This just might be worth a brawl. Yeah, I guess. So. I said that. Brawl, I guess. Listen here. Ah, it looks like a great brawl, but there's so many things you need to brawl. This would be where the big game hunter would have uh, come in critical. Listen here. Oh well. Uh. Calculations are flawless. Boy, why? Wall order. Wait, yes, wall order. Uh. Huh. Five, seven, eight. This deals four damage, four health, five to clear. Okay. I haven't decided on if my win condition here is Mechathune or not yet. Uh, I think it's not going to be. I probably need that shield slam too much. Like, I, I need to use it. So we're just going to try to answer everything that mage has. And worry about it later. I need to use this shield slam while I can. So that's probably the play. Guess. Blah. If I deal two damage to that, which is average, then I can kill the giant, which is the more important one. And I get to develop this. It seems best. Light the fusion! Actually, I don't know which one is more important. This one is taunt. Well, that one's at six, which means I can use both of these. So this takes one more damage. Heals me one more damage. Do I want to play Goblin Bomb? 
Yeah, I want to play it with them, bro. We didn't draw any of our Mega cards in this matchup. Two BGH and Super Collider, so... And, of course, Dr. Boom Mad Genius. So it's rough. Mega card. I think I have to save the second brawl for exactly the... I hope that tells him I don't have brawl my The Khadgar calling turn. What are you hiding? Oh. And technology. Nice, I can rush this guy in. Perfect. Oh. Okay, button. Ah! Oh, button or kill the giant. The giant does a damage to me. But... If I leave the giant up, I can bait him to play more stuff. I don't lose the clockwork. The giant kind of baits him into playing Cadgar Conjurer's Calling. He didn't conjure his calling in 8-3, which probably indicates he doesn't have it right now. Oh, I, love that thing. I think it's right to just delay the necessity to trade that off. I also have Warpath, so the Warpath uh, can incidentally kill that thing. I see a vision in the flames. It's like all the time that people are setting 7 versus 8, and it's a classic control warrior dilemma of do you use your spell to kill a minion that's dealing damage to you, or do you just armor up? And often the right answer is armor up. Like in this case, the super collider is way better of an answer. Oh my god, that's so much better of an answer. both as mountain giants so and he's played one conjurer's calling so his remaining threats are the calling cadgar turn there's still an astromancer in there he's clearly playing the dragon version so there's gonna be a roasting at some point but basically all i have to do is make it past the astromancer the two conjurer's calling and the cadgar we have the answer to the cadgar calling turn so all I need is an answer to the Astromancer, and then one more calling. I think that's it. This. Did I play around my control deck? How often do they play that card in their deck? put an unseen saboteur and what was that other tech card chief inspector it probably means he got rid of the mind control tech tech right <laughs> the mind control tech tech even if he does have mind control tech not that bad Stop. whatever Stop. put the pressure on you can only have so many tech cards in your deck 
The more tech cards you have, the fewer tech cards they have of other tech cards. Engaging TC-130 oh, okay. mental dislocator. It's a tech master. Oh, let's go with Boom Reaver. Oh, I love that fuse thing. Defend the gates. To me. Boom Reaver partially, mostly because I can actually play it without them having a card on the board. delivery drone all the time. Good stuff. DGH target number one spotted. Guess I'll use it. Actually, guess I'll discover Dynamatic and play it here. Because Dynamatic is insane. Cool. Our matchup got so much better by adding to Big Game Hunter. No, but seriously, it's nice to have the insurance. Unity, precision, perfection. For a so I did use my shield slam, which means they're not playing to win with Megathene. But I am playing to win with the Control Warrior route. They don't have anything to stop fatigue. So I think we're just still trying to match him, card for card. But I'll save all of those answers. I should have played Harrison. I don't know what I was thinking there. As long as it keeps out arrows. More tech. Maybe I do want to overkill this. Gave it to him. Bait taken. He gains three, but I don't lose three. Fair deal. Actually, have Mechathune plus Gearblade as an answer to that. And I believe that is the right play. I see. Time for the special? Eh, go for the special. I've got the beast in my say. I've got the beast in my say. <laughs> Are you cheating? He says. Here comes the Cabgar Conjurer's turn. 
Well, at least that's what I'm expecting. But then we have the answer to the final question with Brawl. So, thanks to the 2BGH, we actually have enough room for all these questions to give answers. Well, I mean, what else am I going to brawl? I should brawl. There's nothing else to brawl. 